that's, that's baloney. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> it's not true. It doesn't take? Yes, it doesn't take. You can die, so with natural dyes, but some part of the fiber will absorb the colors, the other parts will not. If you use that fiber to make handmade carpets, so the designs will look blurry. To get vividness in the design of handmade carpets, you have to use chemical dyes. But when it comes to dyeing wool and cotton, we always use natural dyes. We use vegetables, roots, and plants. In fact, we have two workshops as a family, okay? This is one of our workshops, 25 miles away from here. In that region, we support families. We provide them looms, materials, and designs, and those families are making handmade carpets. After they finish, we bring them here, and we have six other showrooms here. We show our art to you, okay? Uh, here, in the bamboo baskets, you can see some of the plants that we have, and in the jars, like walnut. From a walnut shell, we are playing brown, brown color. From major root, we get red color. From indigo, we get blue colors. So whatever color you see in the nature, we basically get that exact color from the mother earth. Okay, if you see red, we get the red. If you see blue, we get the blue. Where do you get the cocoons? Well, first of all, we also produce cocoons, but the main area where, where silk is produced is Bursa. Bursa is one of the cities of Turkey, located 60 kilometers east of Istanbul. But in our place, we also produce our own silk. Okay? In our workshops. Any questions? Nice questions? So these are, these are all dead. Yes. And how long can you have them like that before you process them? Forever. Oh. Forever. So they don't deteriorate because it's a... No. Is it egg? They, this kind of, this is an organic fiber, okay? A, it resists any kind of weather conditions. Honey, That's why it change into when a we make carpets with these cocoons... Weave a cocoon. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how much you use it. I don't know how much you use it. 